about 14 years ago, I came up with a hypothesis on magnets. When I was traveling west across the interstate, I came across a lot of windmills. And the, wind, the windmills made me think if they can move and create electricity by being connected to a generator or a engine, why can't magnets do the same? <coughs> so about 10 years, I toy around with it and fiddle with it and finally decide to go to school to learn as much as I can. Well, after about a year and a half in school, I get to know my teachers well enough to uh, ask them for help if I can come up with a work demo. Would they help me put it all together? <coughs> One says he will, and the other also says he will. But he thought that I was talking about creating a perpetual motion machine, which I wasn't. So after I graduate, I finally come up with a workable demo and decide to go back to school for a second degree in welding. And then I show my, uh, my ex-teachers the workable demo and one of them uh, says it's a good idea and he'd like to get a, a special topics class put together on it which I didn't like that idea because then it would be school property instead of us building it and showing it on YouTube for everybody to be able to put together the other teacher he uh, when I showed him the demo he just laughed and said uh, the, uh, there would be too much friction for the project to even work he told me good luck Um, later, when I went back to the teacher who, uh, who who said it was a good idea, he said that he had too much on his plate and that he wouldn't be able to help me. Uh, but he did give me an idea to limit the friction on a magnetic propulsion drive system, which would be using magnetic couplings instead of uh, bearings on a larger scale of the drive system but there would still be uh, friction between the points of the drive system where the pull force of the two cylindrical magnets would be so great that there would there would be a lot of friction so I did a lot more research and I uh, found that you could use a magnetic stabilization unit which is basically an array of magnets that holds a cylindrical magnet in place so basically you have a shaft with two magnetic stabilization units on each side and the cylindrical magnet within the array of the stabilization unit and they would just hold it in place and hover there and then I came up with a schematic for a model a, lo a small scale model and also a schematic for a large scale operational magnetic propulsion drive system Now, since I've had this idea for over 14 years, and I can't find anyone to help me build it or put it together, and since I lack the funds or ability to put it together, I'm just going to put the schematics on YouTube. A lot of you are close to coming up with it yourselves. I mean, 
the basic idea is there. It's just you don't have it all put together. So don't expect me to answer any questions on this uh, this particular project because I'm done with it after this. Uh, I've been thinking about it for too long. I've had too many people stare at me blankly or laugh at me or just let me down in general. And so it's time to move on to, to other thoughts, other projects. This schematic is for a small scale magnetic propulsion drive system and it can be tweaked to any specification. From left to right you have a rechargeable battery or capacitor bank that runs to a motor. The motor has a shaft that runs through the first stabilization bar which has a bearing. The shaft continues on through the first neo cylindrical ring magnet that's axially magnetized. Then the shaft continues to the second stabilization bar which has a bearing and on to the last motor in that series. And each array is swapped so the magnetic pull force for each magnet is great enough to create enough motion. All wires are ran to a logic controller, then out to a regulator or a transformer. This schematic is for a large scale operational magnetic propulsion drive system, which can be tweaked from left to right. You have a motor with a shaft that runs to the first magnetic coupling. The second magnetic coupling is on a standalone shaft that runs into the first cylindrical ring magnet within a magnetic stabilization unit. Then along to the first large cylindrical ring magnet. And then to the second small cylindrical ring magnet within a stabilization unit. And then finally to the third magnetic coupling. The fourth magnetic coupling is connected to a shaft which is connected to an engine or a turbine. And for the array it would be swapped just like the small scale. You have them in series. <laughs>